Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In the last tutorial I showed you how you can do a tempo meter including by a HUD. Uh, in this tutorial I will show you how I can do a tempo meter in car. So we have our sedan here and it play. You can see it's the typical sedan with the vehicle template. If I hit tap you have an yeah <laughs> simple in car um, tempo meter not very well. So let's make a better one. So first of all, let's duplicate the sedan. Let's call this test car. And first of all, I want to change here in the viewport the car that we using because uh, it didn't look pretty detailed in the in car environment. So let's go to the details window, select the sedan and let's go for the mesh. Let's grab the hatchback so it, it looks more detailed in the inside. So one moment, let's put the camera speed. So as you can see, it's look more realistic. So um, you can get this model from Unreal Engine itself, so it's just the vehicle Verity Pack. Uh, you can just download it, it's free. Um, links in the description. So let's use this car. So compile, save, and what we can do now is go to the settings, project settings, maps and modes, and let's select our test car. In this case, Wonderful, and when we hit play, you can see, yeah, not very well, so we have to fix that. So let's delete this in car gears and go to the event graph, and then we can, yeah, delete the VR functions and the mouse handling, so make it more easier. And let's delete this one as well and this one. So we just have the update huts function like in the other tutorial. Great. So, okay, yeah, of course he also ask here for the setup in car function so we can over to delete this one and this one. And then we go to the set default camera delete all these functions yeah and also this one so when we now hit play and can drive around but we can't switch anymore so let's make an own function for that so let's go to the input and then we can say action mappings and hit on plus. Say change camera. Put this on, let's say V. We can close that, go back to the test car in the event graph and say right click event. Oh, sorry, change camera. And then we can do on press, we do a flip flop. In the first case, we say set active mesh and we take our chase camera and we take our internal camera. So let's put the chase camera to active and then we go from the internal camera and say set active as well put this inside here. What we can do now is so that the chase camera is active and the internal camera is not active and we copy the whole tag and then we say B is different so the chase camera is not active and the internal camera is active. So compile, save and we hit play and now hit V, then you can see, yeah, we can switch around. 
So now let's fix the view. So we go back to the viewport. As you can see, the camera is uh, in the wrong place. So we just select the camera, put it more down here in the to the seat, more in the middle part. So compile save. Let's see if that looks better. Yeah, great. That's okay. That's okay. So, but it's a little bit dark in here. So let's make a little light for that so like a point light put it to the mesh go to details intensity to 50 so let's did we have a little bit more to see so let's put this to 30 and uh, that's okay so, but uh, we want an in-car tempo meter, so let's um, create one. So what we need is the HUD. So like the last time I have the RPM image, the tempo meter image. Um, I also created a material that's just red. I will show you for what it is and I have a normal so that looks more realistic so first of all we have to create um, material for the temper meter and the RPM so let's say right click material and we call this tempo meter underscore m for material and we want um, another material for RPM oh, underscore m and then we go inside here say right click texture sample where it is here connect the RPG uh, RGB to the base color then we can copy this one put this into the normal and then we go back here select the normal and put it right here with the arrow and for this one we select the temper meter and put it inside here and when we look at the preview it looks pretty good so let's save that and the same thing is for the RPM looks also pretty good so now we have to put this inside here so we are on the test core on the viewport and we had it com uh, add component and we go to the cylinder and put it right into the mesh let's call this tempo underscore display and then we go to the details look where it is, here it is, so we rotate it and then we make it a little bit smaller <laughs> in this case much smaller put it right inside here and let's make it more realistic 0 0.1 put it right here and what we can do now is go to the tempo meter material select it and now hit on the arrow and as you can see looks pretty good so we just have to do some size meters so let's duplicate this one and say tempo meter put it inside here then we pull it more out and select another material I would say sedan plastic something like that and then Let's make it much smaller. 
put it in the middle. Yeah, that looks looks okay. Let's say twenty. No, that's okay. So next one we say add component and we say cube. Pull this out and make it more like a pointer. So like that. Yeah, it's not so easy. And for this one, now it comes our red. We select it and hit the arrow. And as you can see now what I try to do. So it looks pretty good. So I skip the scaling because it takes too much time. Um, when we now select the temper meter and just rotate it, you can see it looks pretty good. And when we go to the minus 30, yeah, pretty okay. So now we need a function that the temper meter is showing what the speed of the car is. So we go back to the event graph and first of all we open the update hot strings because we have to change something here. So first of all let's pull this one out. Go to from the vehicle movement and say get engine rotation speed and then pull this out and say promote to variable and let's say call this function rpm oh rpm display string yeah of course it isn't a string but doesn't matter and then we can put this one inside here, this one inside here. We can delete this because we didn't need it anymore. And delete that. And what we can do now is just go to the s uh, speed display string and make it to a float, change type. And then we put this one inside here and compile and save. So now we go back to the event graph and what we need now is that we take our variable, so the speed display string, call and get and what we need now is float multiplied with float and say zero, uh, 1.5 sorry and after that we say float minus float and put this to 31. Oh, in this case 30, sorry. And now we need um, our temper meter, pull it out here and say set relative rotation right click on new rotation, split structure pin, put this one into the Z and just update it. So let's test the function, so compile and save and when we hit play and press V, you can see Tempium meter works pretty good. It shows the actual speed. So we now need this same for the RPM, so we go back to the viewport and the easy part is now we can just copy and paste the whole type and just rename it. So let's call this one RPM display and just this is RPM and now we can move this to the side, go to the details, select the display and now we go back to our RPM material, select it, hit the arrow and as you can see it looks pretty good. Then we go back to our event graph because we need a function for this as well. So we 
use our RPM display string that we created, call and get, and then we pull it out and say float, find it by float, and call this to 40. Then we say float minus float to 30. Then we get our RPM inside here, pull this out and say set relative rotation like above and all and also here we say split structure pin, put this inside here, connect this to this. Yeah, looks pretty good. And now we hit compile and save. When we now hit play and press V, you can see the RPM is working and the temperature is working. So just one last thing to fix. We go here and say Unplug this one, say branch, put the true inside here. We go from the float and say float is below another float and say 210, put the condition inside here. So what it does is it already checks that the pointer is not going over the 160, so Otherwise it will look pretty stupid and when we now hit play and hit V, you can see it works pretty good. And now when the car hits the maximum speed, then the pointer will just stop there. Yeah. When we go slower go back. Great! So, um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, yeah, goodbye!